And it's not like, you know, I'm whack. It's not, I'm not conceited. I'm humble, but my music is fire. I'm sure as soon as you hear it, you're going to start dancing. You're going to enjoy it. And it's off the hook. So, you know what I'm saying? Please show the kids some love. You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, 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 we, we, we definitely feel the vibe and we feel the humble mm -hmm. approach. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Super humble. That's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> A humble dynasty. Humble dynasty. Now, yes, now I mean, this is your cliche um, radio show interview a question, but talk to me. The talk name to me. Dynasty. Dynasty. That's a that's a good one. Um, yeah. Dynasty um, came about and from Washington Heights. So I used to, you know, when I was working with a lot of you know friends of mine, I used to do reggaeton, and um, they said, you know, you've been through this game for a long time. That you have, you created like an empire. Like you have so much experiences. So. You know, like, you know, we was at this Chinese restaurant and it was called the Chinese was Dynasty yeah, yeah, yeah. Restaurant, you know, like quite a few of them. On the yeah, yeah, a few is. of them. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of Dynasty, but when we were there and then they had a picture, it had the name Dynasty and it had like a, a picture of, of what Dynasty is in China. It's like, you know, an empire, a huge empire that was built by all these, you know, Chinese people that, you know, work hard. It's just like, a, how you call the, the people? They dress with the orange uh, Monks. dress, the months, oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. But um, but it's just like an empire. You work through so much. You do so much to you know to to make yourself someone strong and and uh. Now, now I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I listen yeah. to the I listen to the the, the the other interviews. I listen to the music. Um, I see your your your, your re regiment up to this point. Um, right. Performing with cats like Serrani and Movado. Yeah. Um, you I mean you're you're, you're subsurface. You're almost at the point where you know now is breakthrough. Like you said, at this point you should be breaking through. Yes. Yeah, how do you maintain composure and, and and how do you stay so humble? I stay humble because exactly like back what I was saying as far as my name. I'm just I've been doing this for so many years. But when I was young, I'm not gonna lie. You know I was you know young and I didn't know too much about the business. But when I got opportunity, you know what I'm saying like I just I th I thought I was all that and you know because I got an opportunity and a lot of young kids you know wanted to be like me because they i was on tv at a young age so so being conceited in that didn't get me nowhere and i learned from that and i just you know it, that made me humble and just a lot of experiences a lot of bad experiences i went through in my life just you know what i'm saying would turn you, me into would you like to elaborate a little bit on those well as far as like you know like i don't want to talk bad about nobody but i'm just a little son like as far as like labels like when Last you're young radio, baby. yeah you yeah i'm gonna keep it real when you young and you want to do music, you do whatever it takes. I mean, not anything, but I'm just saying, like, you do. And But when you're young, you can't sign a contract. You have to, mom got to sign it. But my mom don't know those big words and contracts and all that. But she's like, you want to sing? All right, where do I sign? So it was a few times that I signed with labels, and I just, you know, I got, you know, screwed over. They took my money. I was working at a factory while my son was on the radio, making, like, four bucks an hour. For, you know, this was back in the days. I went through a lot with producers, just shystiness, and, and everybody just wanted to get at me. Like, oh, he's he's a pretty boy, and he could sing. Let me just take him. He did cha-ching. It's like I'm a dollar sign to everybody. But now as I'm, you know, I'm older now, I have a lot of experience. You know, I have, you know what I'm saying, two lawyers. You know, I'm ready, so, you know, to do And now my, my music is really professional. So I'm like... I can't let that happen again, and that's why, you know what I'm saying, I'm just the way I am to now. Me, to me, it sounds like um, at, at some point throughout this career of yours, there was a destroy right. and rebuild process. There yes. Was, was there a blank point where where, where music, you were kind of yeah, not too happy with it? Yeah, yeah. I I was can so see, you, you seem like a new artist in my eyes. Yeah, but speak, I'm not. But you've been, you been speak around. of this, this, this long journey that it's taken you to get here. Right, yeah. I just... Long story short, I've, I've done all types of music and I've done, like, I've been in groups and I, I got a lot of experience through through that, like, as far as performing with other artists, you know, just doing collaborations and all that. And I just picked up a lot of experiences. But now, I guess it was God that just, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, made me go through all that. So, so when I become a solo artist, which is what I always wanted to be in my life, you know what I mean? I'll be experienced, I'll have knowledge of, you know, the business, and I'll just do everything the right way. <laughs>